Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the final installment of our weekly pick segment here on the world of football, where we're going to give us, give us, give you our Super Bowl <laughs> picks. I can't do this by myself. I'm your host, Adam So, and with me, as always, and have been here throughout the whole season, uh, the founder and creator of the world of football, Randy Snow, and uh, my brother, Aaron Snow, is also here. He's been here all season. He only missed a couple weeks for a honeymoon that kind of happened in there. So, other than that, you know. We've made it 20-some-odd weeks, guys, uh, from week one, here we are, to the Superb Owl, or the Super Bowl, as some people who are uh, not afraid to get copyright strict and uh, call it. Uh-huh. But we're here at the big game. Uh, you know, it's been quite the ride. Any thoughts, any memories you guys have from this past season before we get into all the typical stuff? Uh, let's see. Um, did, didn't I win this year on our regular season picks? Um, by by about two that. games, I think, and and I, I had fourteen games uh, correct one one week, and I could go on and on, but that's okay. We'll I'm sure you we'll could. let it go with that. <laughs> I mean, Aaron Aaron dropping you know uh, curse words that we have had to censor out multiple times. Randy using yeah. the props to help him uh, you know uh, make his picks. I mean, it's been a wild ride. We've we've done a lot yeah. this year. I thought I was going to have to uh, retire this shirt. You know, come on, Detroit. I just want one before I die. I'm uh, going to have to keep it around for another year, but uh, we're so close this year. <laughs> so close. Yeah, and that's where we're going to start as we look at uh, how we did last week. And uh, as we look at that, you know, only one person got both games right in the NFC and AFC championships, and that's Leonard. He got the Chiefs and 49ers correct. Uh, we had a handful of people go one and one, including you, Randy, uh, Liz, B. Lewis, Hawkeye, and Ted all went one and one, while Mike, Royce, Cringe, Aaron, and myself all went 0 oh and 2. Um, I knew it could happen. A lot of people were loving <laughs> the Lions. The only one that picked the 49ers yeah. was, uh, was uh, Leonard. And, you know, Leonard. darn it, Leonard, you just had to jinx it. He had to be that one. If he would have just picked the Lions, it could have been a whole different mm-hmm. story. But, yeah, nah, it's all good. It's all in good fun. Um, we could go talk to death about that. But if you followed us on any of our other platform, you know, other videos that we do, we've talked about that at length. And we're going to move on. Uh, even though we haven't heard Aaron's thoughts on camera, but I'm sure he doesn't want to go into it either. I mean, it sucks, <laughs> but they had a good season. So They did have a good did. season. Ball just did it a couple times. Yep. And that's very true. And, you know, so we are here now to talk about the final game of the regular season, a game that actually counts. We're not talking about that crappy Pro Bowl game nonsense. Uh, we're here to talk about Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And, you know, traditionally, you know, we pick the game and that's it. But I thought we'd try something a little bit differently here for the folks at home, just to spice it up a little bit. And we're going to start with boys. What's it going to be? Is it going to land on heads or is it going to land on tails? That being the opening coin toss. Uh, and we'll start with Randy. Randy, what do you think? Is it going to be heads or tails? I say heads. I, You know what? I, I'm going to go tails. I'm going to go tails. I'm, I've always been a tails guy. And uh, I just think it's going to go that way. I agree. Tails never fails. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Two for tails, one for heads. We'll see who ends up in that one. All right. And then after that coin toss, you know, then we're going to have to have a winner of the game. So I guess right here is where we're going to talk about who we think will actually win Super Bowl 58 between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Two very good teams, two different stories going into this game. I guess I'm going to start. And look, uh, I hate the 49ers because they beat our beloved Detroit Lions, but they are a very good team. Um. The Kansas City Chiefs had to win two really tough games on the roads, and they are the defending world champions going into this game. Give me Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs to pull this one out. Probably another squeaker, but they're going to pull it out over the San Francisco 49ers. I agree with you. I think the 49ers will be better on defense than they were last week. The Lions really took it to them in that first half, um, so they'll tighten up a little bit, but... Mahomes, that offense, I feel like is more capable of sustaining a lead if they get one. And I just, 
feel like Dad said last week, you can't count out the Chiefs. So make it a repeat, and then next year the Lions will take the Super Bowl. So it's, they don't have to worry about that next year. So. Wow, Aaron already getting his pick in next year. Dang. Uh-oh, well, Randy, all, all right? Up about Left you speechless. I'm, all... <laughs> no, I'm not speechless. I'm just all choked up. But I agree with you guys. Uh, you can't. You can't rule out the the Chiefs. I mean, they've been to the Super Bowl four out of five times. Yipes! Uh, new new earphones. They've uh, been to the Super Bowl what four of the last five years. Uh, this would be their their third win if they win this one. Four overall, you know, tying the Steelers and whatnot. So, uh, follow up too. So uh, yeah. I'm, I'm taking the experience together, man. Made the it this experience. far, now you're having issues. <laughs> <laughs> Had something different man. from the last show. It never works out. But no, give me the Chiefs. Uh-huh. Uh, I I think they'll win. Uh, if it, like you said, if they get a lead, I think they have the kind of defense that can shut them down. Uh, something that Detroit couldn't do in the championship game. You know, they they couldn't hold that lead. But I think uh, Kansas City can do that. So give me the Chiefs. To win the Super Bowl. All right. Um, yeah. And then uh, I guess we're going to also do, is Travis Kelsey going to propose to Taylor Swift, you guys? Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to say no. It's not going to happen. Let's, let's not even make that one of them. But, no, for real, though, how about, for a little bit of added fun, everybody, what color will the Gatorade be that gets dumped on the game-winning coach at the end of the game? Uh, and we will start now with uh, – Aaron. Ooh. Red is the obvious choice because both teams are red. The whole Taylor Swift seeing red stuff. But I'm going to go purple. Ooh, there was purple. purple. There was purple in that Super Bowl logo. So why not? They have the red teams and the purple Gatorade for the winner. Boy, Conspiracy boy. theories come full circle. <laughs> well, since uh, I'm picking the Chiefs to win, I say it's going to be red uh, Gatorade. That's what they'll have on their sidelines. Okay, see, this is where I'm torn. I'm torn between the traditional yellow Gatorade, you know, the the traditional one, and Arctic Blast, you know, a blue one. Uh, It's going to be either one of those two. I don't know why. Uh, I've been leaning about that. I've been thinking about that all day. Give me Arctic Blue uh, or whatever that flavor is called. That's going to be the one that gets dumped on the winning coach. Book it. Um, (laughs) All right. Anything else, guys, before we wrap up the final video of our picks for the season? Like, it's been crazy. I did see that some Redditor has incorrectly picked the Super Bowl winner for 16 straight years, and he picked the Chiefs. And so that almost guarantees the Niners are going to win. Why didn't you pick the (laughs) Niners then? Because I don't, I think he's, I trust him. He's going to pick the 49ers and, or the Chiefs, and Chiefs are going to win. Oh, all right. I, Look, we thank. I just want to say. Oh, go ahead, Randy. I just want to say thank you to everyone oh. that has been along with us this whole season with our picks. Those of you who picked, those of you who maybe just watched but didn't make a pick, those of you who were here for a few picks or maybe the whole season, whatever. Thank you to everybody that's watched our videos. We appreciate it. Um, when we started, uh, Aaron brought this up a little while ago. When we started the season back in September, we had just hit 500 subscribers. As we sit here today, we have 714 subscribers. So thanks to everybody who subscribed to us. Uh, uh, we appreciate you watching. Hopefully you like what we're doing. Um, but it's it's been fun for us, and uh, we're going to do this again next year. So uh, we'll see you all uh, in September when uh, the regular season kicks off again. Yeah, yeah. Well said, Randy. Well said. Uh, same. I mean, going into next year, obviously, we always like changing things up. This year, bringing Aaron into the picks, uh, I think, was a great addition, getting his thoughts on a lot of this stuff. Really put kept me and Randy in check from bickering at each other. Um, mm-hmm. Couldn't save us from a lot of Randy's uh, shenanigans, though, so what are you going to do? But uh, <laughs> And then whatever suggestions people have like for next year, like how else can we improve You know, going into next year? We, we've kind of got some ideas about maybe – changing how people can submit picks. We'll, we'll figure that out as next year comes. But uh, any and all feedback for those of you specifically who have been following us along, um, what do you like? What haven't you liked that we've done this year? Are the videos too long, too short? 
If you need more of something, I don't know, just let us know in those comments on top of your picks this week. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you again, everybody, uh, for coming along again for a very fun season. I had a lot of fun doing these videos with you guys. Same here. Yeah, with, with the Lions winning, it did make it a really, really fun season for a change. It did, yeah. It definitely I, helped. If, they, if the Lions would have been in the Super Bowl, I was prepared to create a montage of me picking every game because uh, I picked the Lions every week. You guys went one week where you didn't pick the Lions. Uh, otherwise, we picked Detroit every week. We were that confident in, in that team to, you know, yeah. this year, and it was a fun ride. So yeah. uh, we'll see yeah. how everybody does next year. So Yeah, we, we knew there was something yep. different about this Lions team this year, and it, it certainly was. We, we went into every game thinking, you know what? They can win this game. And we haven't felt that way in many, many years. You know, a lot of games Very we true. thought, oh, there's no way they're going to win this game. And they wouldn't. But this year, we just had the feeling that they were going to win every game. Yeah. And next year's not guaranteed. But, hey, we're along for the ride again. Uh, ride or die, Honolulu Blue. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I guess, you know, uh, that's it for this year, guys. Dad, if you want to read our closing credits. We'll uh, wrap this oh. baby up for 2023 slash 2024. We didn't even read the disclaimer before we started uh, things here. No, we didn't. Oh. We didn't even need the disclaimer. By this point, I mean, <laughs> don't y'all know? It probably popped up on screen. I probably fit it in there somewhere. Okay. Uh, they, they can read it for themselves. All right. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification on our YouTube channel. We're also on Facebook, X, and Instagram, where the inter uh, address on all three is TWOF Kalamazoo. We also have a weekly audio podcast called This Week in the World of Football, which is posted on Tuesdays and is available on all major podcast platforms as well as Amazon Music. So you can simply ask your Alexa device to play the World of Football podcast. You can also find the full audio version of our podcast on YouTube. So please spread the word. Give us a like, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, and please come be a part of the football conversation. Yep. Thanks again, everybody, for a wonderful, wonderful season. Uh, good luck to both teams. And all honesty, we just want a good game. It doesn't really matter to us if the Chiefs or the 49ers win. We just want another great game. I kind of want a game like last year where the Eagles and uh, Chiefs, you know, can't kind of came down to the wire there. I just want a good game. Uh, speak for yourself. Uh, I want the Chiefs to win. I want the 49ers to lose bad. <laughs> hey, it's it's either the Lions. I mean, the Lions play both these teams this year. They beat the Chiefs. They lost to the Niners. So it's either, hey, we beat the Super Bowl champs or we lost to the eventual Super Bowl champs. So either way, you know, kind of you feel, as a Lions fan, you can swing either way. So right, eh. go Chiefs. All right. Uh, <laughs> You know what? Go commercials this year. I'm very excited about the commercials. Uh, we'll see. Aaron, you're a man of few words, uh, but we appreciate you being on here. And unfortunately, those few words tend to be swear words, but, you know, it is. <laughs> Damn what right. Uh -huh. Hey, yeah, there you, we go. you taught Adam how to be quick with that uh, sensor button this year. <laughs> yeah, because that's how that works. <laughs> All right, everybody. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next season.